Hey everybody, it's Rory from ANS Gear and we're looking at a brand new version of a T15 from First Strike today. This is the DMR T15. Uh, so let's get into it, let's, let's check it out. Comes in this nice case you can see right here. Nice foam padded case, uh, locking tabs all around it. It's even got little holes, uh, if you can put a, a lock through it, like a padlock or something like that. Uh, so the gun, right here, the body of the gun, like the meat of it, right in the middle right here, is the same. It hasn't changed, the same T15 that we've seen before, but you do get a couple different accessories with it that you don't get with the standard T15. Um, get two mags right there. And this parts kit, which we'll talk about in just a minute, but let me get this out of the way Ugh, for now. Oh God. All right, so let's try to center that up as much as we can. All right, so the way this is different, or how it comes set up from the other one, um, on a center T15, you've got a gas through stock back here. So you've got your 13 cubic inch bottle stuck to the back of it. On this particular setup, the DMR setup, it comes with the remote line setup already put in so that you could run a remote line to some sort of tank that you're wearing on your back or in a backpack or a harness of some sort. But if you don't like that, it does come with the adapter so you can go back to a gas through stock version uh, if you don't want the remote line set up there you can put the other one back on and go from there you would need to then pick up the the stock cover which goes around the bottle to make it into like a stock look but you could use the bottle as your stock and mount it right back there so either way it's up to you but it does come with it. So you're not out that option if you don't like the remote line setup. Got the adjustable stocks just like before. Comes with the riser, uh, scope mount riser, which uh, has this tilt adjustment to it. You can see that going up and down right there. You might not be able to see it from that side, so let's do it this way. Now this is just on here to compensate for um, the change or drop in your shot. If you're gonna shoot first strike out of this, you might need to adjust the scope a little bit on there uh, to account for up and down. I think this is actually possibly on here backwards. Because it's just going down. If we had it the other way around, it would actually bevel back and then it would be facing, uh, the scope would be tilting up to give you that little bit of an extra arc to it, which is what you're looking for. Really. Uh, same selector right here, same, like I said, same body, but you get this sick rail on the front right here. Plus you get a barrel. This set up for first strike. This right here is a 686 first strike ready rifled barrel. So if we look down it, it's got the porting, the spiral porting, or spiral rifling, I should say, it's not ported. That's my mistake. Has the spiral rifling that goes all the way down the barrel, which will help keep that projectile, that first strike round as it's traveling out, making it rotate and keeping it go straight, just like a real, um, a real bullet or something. And then we have this suppressor on the front. Now this is just for looks. So real suppressors don't work. Real suppressors work, but this is just a mock suppressor. Um, to just give you that super cool look at the end of your gun. But you can put something else on the end of there if you don't want the suppressor look on there. You could get a flash hider for the end of it or not put anything on it at all um, and go with that. Now this will set up to run um, either from MagFed, so you can have it coming up through the bottom right here for MagFed setup, or you can get the uh, feed neck adapter and then you could have it set up to run off of a hopper up here as well. I mean, if you're picking up this DMR, you're most likely into mag-fed setups. You probably won't be running a hopper on it, but hey, people can do anything they want. Let's put that back in there. So check it out. This thing has the, the weight and the feel of a real firearm right there. This front shroud is super narrow. It's really tight to the, to the barrel in there. So you can easily hold on to it. It doesn't feel big and bulky at the front. It's easy to hold on to. Um, it's comfortable to hold on to just as it is on here. Has the key mod set up on there. It's uh, it's really nice. It feels really good in your hands. Um, a lot of these rail systems can feel like uh, really sharp and jagged in your hands, but not these. These are great. 
Uh, so check it out. This is the DMR, the T15 DMR. It's available through the website. They go fast whenever we get them in. So make sure you're getting one uh, while we still have them. Order yours now through ansgear.com.